Today, we'll be painting this colourful ocean sunset with the 8-piece Dimension Acrylic Introduction Set. So let's get into it. For this project, we'll be using a 60 by 75 centimetre canvas, an 11-piece acrylic brush set in the wallet, an 8-piece Dimension Acrylic Intro Set and 5-piece palette knife set. The first step is to tint the canvas with lemon yellow. We do this for a number of reasons. The first is that it provides a warm tone for laying over subsequent colours into the sky. And it'll also create a glowing green tone into the water when we glaze blue over it. Squeeze the lemon yellow out onto the palette and use the largest brush to apply a thin layer over the surface. Add some water so the paint flows smoothly and allow the coat to dry thoroughly. Once the coat is dry, refer to the first reference image and draw up the horizon line. Then lay in the profile lines of the clouds and waves. We use an orange fine tip marker to lay this all in. Because the orange marker is water based, some of it will blend into the paint and disappear. If graphite is used, sometimes in areas a dark line is visible, which can look displeasing. Now the outline is in, we can add the paint. Refer to the final reference image for colour guidance. I start with the violet cloud on the upper left corner. Because clouds are a large soft mass, we don't want the colour to look flat and solid. The trick is to squeeze out some violet and white onto the palette and roughly mix it directly on the canvas. Make sure not to overmix the tones so there is a soft variation in the cloud. As we move to the edge of the cloud, we lighten and soften the tone so it fades out to nothing. This can be done by scumbling on the colour. While we have the violet on the palette, we lay a light tone into the right corner and a darker tone into the clouds in the distance along the horizon and the low clouds situated centrally in the canvas. Next we can add warm colours into the sky, starting with the orange and yellow mix at the top of the canvas, between the two violet clouds. Work down the canvas and darken it with permanent red as you go. Again do most of the colour mixing directly on the canvas to get that soft fluffy look to the clouds. Concentrate red into the large cloud in the centre of the canvas. Allow some of the yellow tint to show through in areas and lay orange just above the horizon. Lighten the orange clouds by mixing yellow into the edge of them so they fade out into the tint colour. Create a light blue by mixing white and cobalt blue and lay it into the left part of the sky. Lighten the edge with more white and fade the colour into the surrounding clouds. The hot spot in the centre of the canvas is the main focal point and is pure white. This should be the lightest area in the painting. Pure titanium white is added to the centre of the canvas around the red clouds. Next, add blue into the right side of the sky. Acrylic paint dries very quickly and blending tones can be difficult. This drying can be slowed down if the brush is dipped into water and then added to the paint. Blend this blue out into the white. 
The sky is essentially finished and can be spot detailed by lightening and darkening any areas to balance it all out and get rid of any hard edges. Now that the sky is created, we can move on to the water. The water can be broken into a background, middle area and foreground. The first stage is to apply some titanium white into the foam onto the top area of each breaking wave with a palette knife. Try to create as much texture as you can. It is usual to add this first, but we need to establish where any breaking foam lines are as we may lose some of the line work when we lay over the blue glaze. Once the foam is all in, we have to let it dry before we can start the next step. Thick paint can take a while to dry naturally, but can be speed dried with a hairdryer. Literally thousands of colours can be created from the colours in the intro set we are using. To create a good sand colour, we mix some titanium white, lemon yellow, cobalt blue, monastrol green and permanent red. For the glaze, create a watery mix of cobalt blue and lay it in below the horizon line using the widest brush and work down the canvas, going over the foam at the top of the waves. As we work down the canvas, dip the brush into the beige mix we created for the sand and create a blend. By the time you reach the bottom of the canvas, it should be pure beige. The transition does not need to be too smooth as it is an underpainting that will have detailing laid over the top. Squeeze out some cobalt blue and use the medium flat brush to lay horizontal strokes across the water below the horizon line. As we work down the canvas, add more white into the mix so the blue strokes lighten. I mix some beige into the cobalt blue and lay strokes into the right side of the water. Leave little amounts of green show through to add interest. Take the strokes down to the breaking wave in the middle of the canvas. Squeeze out some more white and paint this into the foam that we laid on the top of each wave. Don't cover the whole area with white. Let some of that blue show through. Mix a touch of permanent red into some cobalt blue and darken the shadow into the farthest wave. The mix can then be altered with some monastrol green and orange to create more of a brown tone and some shadows can be laid under the foam on each wave. Next, we create a light blue from cobalt blue and titanium white. Add some water and glaze this over the middle ground of the left and right waves. Create a dark brown by using a spot of every colour in the set and draw the profile line for the two shallow waves in the foreground. To add shape to the waves, we can add detail with white marks applied with a fine brush. A fine line can be added to the edge of the shallow waves. Fine strokes can be laid across the middle area. The shallow wave on the left has some foam on the surface. The foam can be applied with a filbert brush and dry brushed on. Charge the brush, wipe the excess paint off and then apply the mark so it is not too bright white in tone.
Well, thanks for watching. We hope you picked up something from the lesson. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time.